Shiba Inu is this bad? We're going to talk about it. And uh, well, it kind of depends. It just depends on how you look at this, because if you're a short term trader or you're looking to basically make a quick buck on Shiba Inu, this could be a bad thing if you're looking to make a quick buck on the upside. But if you're looking to potentially have Shiba Inu as a long term investment, which so many people now do, uh, opposed to where this was about a year ago, then this could present a big opportunity. Now, we're going to talk about it. It has to do with price. We're going to dive into the specifics because Shiba Inu has recently fallen to a pretty solid support level, and we're not breaking that support just yet. However, if we do, this is where things could get interesting, both from an investment standpoint and from a sentiment standpoint. So, we're going to talk about the potential next moves for SHIB in this video. Great article uh, out here on the aggregator that I want to break down, give you my thoughts on you today. Does a fantastic job breaking things down. Now, I've already went through this. I'm, I'm going to kind of skim this, and I'll give you the, 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 the highlights here, okay? So essentially, right now, SHIB has found itself kind of resting toward its major support level of 401, okay? And you can see here, in the last 24 hours, we went to 40102, right? The 102 level right now, we're at the 104 level. We have yet we have yet to break it. We have yet to give back that zero. We've been dangerously close. Now we'll see if we actually get there, right? But we've got the 200 day moving average above the 50 day and ships price below the 50 day. Market participants are closely watching the developments in the coming days because one possible outcome here is a rebound off the support. And we could just start on an uptrend, right? Now, if the buyers and the bulls come in right now, we can push us up through the next uh, resistance zone. The support at the 401 has proven to be a strong base. You know, what we've seen here in the last year, anytime we do give back that zero, it doesn't last very long. We go back to five zeros, nine, usually buyers come in. And I'm one of those buyers. I have bought the dip there probably three or four times. As soon as we go to 509, and especially late last year when we were at 507, 508, I was accumulating SHIB, guys. That is, those are my levels where I like to add to my bag. Now, when we look at the RSI, it's currently at 40. If that starts to climb higher and the trading volume picks up, this could increase that we're bouncing, increase the chances that we're bouncing off support, right, and showcase a potential reversal of the recent downtrend. Now, if that RSI continues to fall and we go down to the 30, right, and we do break support, that is where things could get interesting because what I suspect will happen is we'll give back that zero, but it won't last very long. So it presents an interesting opportunity. So in this case, traders might choose to wait on the sidelines just to kind of see which the, what the trend is going to be. Again, if we break through and you might be able to catch a little uptrend, Yes, I'll bet it might be a little bit late, right? But you're playing the guessing game right now because we're kind of at a stalemate between the Bears and the Bulls right now, right? It's kind of like, okay, who's going to take control? Who's going to take the reins here and uh, dictate where the price goes? Now, of course, all of this hinges on Bitcoin. All of this hinges on Ethereum and the overall crypto market. But we know that SHIB has the ability to kind of move in its own way, right? Move in its own direction. It has its own market in a way, right? Now, the third scenario involves a breakdown. Uh, well, further explains this breakdown support leading to further declines in the ship's price. This could happen if the trading volume increases on the sell side. And again, the RSI continues to drop. As soon as we get under 30, then an asset is considered oversold. That is when I think the buyers will come in. And I think if that happens, we're going to be at a 509 level and uh, people will rush in to buy that dip. So we'll see what happens here throughout the rest of the weekend and into next week with the overall cryptocurrency market. But this is the latest as it relates to SHIB. So it's not technically a bad thing, right? But it's all perspective. How are you looking at this from a trader and or a long-term investor? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you in the next video.